What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary top of the movie action video. Let's go. Hey, this is Pau Gasol, and I want to give a shout out to Sean David of the Basketball Time Machine. Oh, my boy Gasol is a legend, bro. Back in the Kobe days, bro. Let's get it. Hello and good day one, how's it going? I'm Sean David, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're ready for some more old school NBA. Now, on today's show, we're gonna take a look at one of the best matchups and also one of the most forgotten matchups in NBA history. I'm talking about Scottie Pippen versus Larry Bird. And we're gonna take a closer look on how Scottie Pippen actually did against Larry. But before we start with this episode, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thanks a lot, you guys, for supporting the show. Also, great that it's getting more and more. Thanks so much, you guys. And I would say, let's dig right into today's episode. behind he gets the ball your job is over buddy bird for two celtics lead with 3.6 seconds here throws it away into the hands of pippen and it's a three on one The 1980s were the toughest time in NBA history. You had some of the greatest rivalries ever. Many included not only the Celtics, but also Larry Bird. There were actually so many that most of them got forgotten. Or who do you know who still talks about the Larry Bird vs. Marcus Johnson rivalry? Or Larry Bird vs. Dominic Wilkins? By the way, working on a video on that, the Celtics were the team to beat in the Eastern Conference. And many teams just wanted to beat Larry so bad. Because Larry also would let you know how good he was, he became the target of almost everybody. But while the Celtics were dominating the East and were just about to be defeated by Detroit, there was a sleeping giant called the Chicago Bulls. Man, back in the days, he had so many dangerous teams, it's unbelievable. Now, we all know that the 1980s had some of the greatest rivalries in NBA history. I'm talking about the Celtics Lakers, the Pistons Bulls, the Celtics Pistons, but nobody talks about the Celtics Bulls rivalry. Yes, while Michael Jordan was the clear superstar of the Bulls and the rivalry between Jordan and Bird was obvious, the even more interesting rivalry was between Scottie Pippen and Bird, since Scottie would guard Bird for the majority of their matchups. As we all know, Pippen was considered to be one of the best defenders of all time, but even in his early days, he already got the task to guard the key player of the opposing team. Just like he did in the 1991 NBA Finals between the Lakers and the Bulls, where Pippen guarded Magic like nobody else has ever done. Going into the Lakers series, Phil had in his pocket the strategy that, look, I've got Pippen, who really plays point guard for us, point forward, uh, runs the offense and we'll put him on Magic at some point. Mm -hmm. We went to it in game two, and it made all the difference in changing the Lakers' offense. Michael had picked up two fouls early, and so it became necessary. And one of the things that Scotty did was he, you know, on dead balls, he'd pick him up in the backcourt, he'd make Magic work. Magic was good, he wasn't gonna try. I feel like Scotty is just a behind the scenes type of guy. He don't want all that, all that fame, all that attention. My man just put in the work, hardcore, Stone cold, bad mother man. Turned over a lot, you know, but he made him work to get the ball up the floor. I knew that I could cause him a lot of problems. I watched Magic my whole career and even before my career, so I knew the style of player he was and I knew what I could do to prohibit him from being as effective on the basketball court as he had been throughout yes, his sir. career. That's all defense is, man. Defense is basically a visual reading of how you can challenge the other opponent, you feel me? For example, if someone always going to their right, you're going to force them to their left. You're going to give them a challenge to the point where you can stop them to a certain extent where they ha they are limited to their abilities of doing what they usually do. Now, if they keep doing what they always done, and you being a defender is really no purpose, you know what I'm saying? There's no, you're not stimulating nothing to create some type of reaction to challenge the, you know, the person on the offensive offensive side of the the ball, you know what I'm saying? So hey, it's smart, man. He just However, this kind of confidence was something that Scotty had to build. And it all started in the year 1988 when the Chicago Bulls and the Celtics would face each other and a young rookie named Scotty Pippen would receive not too many minutes. 
But once he stepped on the floor, he got the job to guard the multiple MVP, Larry Bird. That's good D, man. I gotta give it to him. As a rookie, you know, that's a sign of greatness right there, but, you know, that's just one play, so I ain't gonna hype it up. You feel me? Dennis Johnson standing dribble top of the key. Right side Ainge. Packs it on him. Bird wide right on Pippen. Long outside jumper is in. Larry Bird with the floor. Good defense. Jordan hustles it up against Dennis Johnson. This is how you know when you're dealing with a great, right? It don't matter how hard or good of a defense you got. They still going to find a way to put it in the bucket, bro. And that's just them being great. You just can't. You can play good. You know one of them people where you just play good defense, but still, they just still score. It's just in them, bro. It's like innate. Right, dumps a pass underneath the Pippen for the layup and a foul call. Scotty Pippen's athletic ability around the hoop drew the foul on Robert Parrish. And even though rookie Scotty Pippen had some nice highlights, at the end, Larry Bird would destroy him, dropping mm -hmm. 38 points. The second game also would not turn out too well for Scotty, since Bird dropped 33 points on him. But every match, Scotty Pippen got better and better That's and good, better. Man. That's and all then, it's about. Lemons. That's all it's about, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you got to get a man courage, man. He's a rookie sitting here guarding a legend. You know what I'm saying? You know, boy, and I'm shaking in his boots. He's not scared. He's going out there and doing what he got to do. And as long as he's growing every single possession, every single game, that's all that matters. What is the point of you you um experiencing in something, experiencing something and don't learn from it? So, and that's crucial in basketball. You know, watching tape, watching film. You know. And there was this classic performance. It was the fourth of November in 1989, and Bird and Pippen would have an epic battle. The matchups tonight, probably this way: Pippen and Bird, Pinkney and Grant, Parrish and Cartwright. Bagley and Paxson. And the Celtics would win that game by two, but Scotty was able to match Larry's game that night. Now let's have a closer look at the numbers. Damn, bro, now Larry no Bird had 27, Scotty Pippen had 28, so very good scoring night for the both of them. But the first big difference you can see in the turnovers, Larry Bird had seven turnovers that game, and three wow. of them was actually a steal by Scotty. So very good. Pippen, on the other hand, had only two turnovers, which is very good considering the many touches he had. And if we take a closer look on the rebounds and a you can see Larry Bird was a little bit better, well, you but got, Scotty well, you also. You gotta realize, though. You gotta realize, you know, Scotty is more of a, you know, asset in the sense of coming through with the right play at the right time. You know, Larry Bird is like he carrying the team on his back. You are gonna have more possessions because he's a star. You feel me? Larry Bird, just, I mean, Scotty just know how to show up in them key moments. So had decent numbers both of them shooting 50 plus percent from the field so also very good so both of them had a very good game and as i already mentioned that was the first time that scotty could really match larry from that game onwards now it was really a battle the two would really go at it and while bird's back was getting worse and worse and he got slower pippen gained more confidence over the years and became an nba all-star this would be one of the most interesting matchups over the next two years. Go over the top, he plays him behind. He gets the ball. Your job is over, buddy. Bird for two. Celtics lead with 3.6 seconds. I'm not stopping that post up, bro. Six seven. Bird lost him on a screen. It's the jumper. I, I appreciate Scotty um, humbleness because you know every possession, you know. Do you doing all this, you know, hardcore defense? You you doing the best you can. Boy making buckets. He ain't getting frustrated. He just like okay, you know what I'm saying? Just humble about it. You know, that's just part of understanding the game. Yeah. Hey, Ooh, I like 
the feet, bro. I like the feet, bro. That was swift. That was swift. Barry, wide open in the corner. 44 for Bird. Plenty of time to sight the hoop. Those matchups were really incredible. Now let's have a look at their overall numbers and their matchups. Now, as you can see, Pippen and Bird played 14 regular season games against each other. Eight of those games went to the Chicago Bulls, six to the Boston Celtics. Now, if we take a closer look at the numbers, you can see that Bird had better numbers, but Pippen was definitely able to compete, which is more than you can ask for if we remember that Pippen also had those rookie games. The one mm -hmm. stat that is outstanding to me is the shooting percentage. We can't forget that Bird was a lot older and unfortunately also retired in the year 1992 so that's the reason why we only got 14 regular season games but it was great to have them. And Pippen always had a lot of respect for Bird. Ooh, now we get the opportunity to go spend a summer with them and learn from them and you know, see what their, their habits were and what they did in the summertime. It was, it was the greatest thing. Ever. I mean you've been to plenty of All-Star games before but this is different. It was totally different. I mean, I've hung out with Michael, but to have Larry there. Who would you like? Who were the ones that whether they were good at it or not? Like, who were the ones that would just keep a gabber the whole time? Um, I mean, Gary Payton talked a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but in my era, probably was Larry Bird. All right, you guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed well, at this. Least, at least he could talk and back it up. Video. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to hear podcasts with me and former NBA. At least he could. At least he could back it up. See, you got a lot of cats out here just talking, especially in this time, and they can't back it up. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, come join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. Comment down below any legendary top of the movie action videos you guys want to see. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps crush that YouTube algorithm, and it's totally free. Let the love supersede the hate, family. Peace.